Ukraine are bracing themselves for only their second UEFA European Championship. After appearing as co-hosts four years ago, they've now successfully qualified for the first time. In a group in which they racked up six wins, ironically it was two losses to reigning champions Spain that gave coach Mikhailo Fomenko the most belief. There was a strong sense in our country that we couldn't let these defeats have a negative effect on our players' mentalities. Because our boys really did play well in those games. There were two games that we lost, but it's also an experience. In Spain we had some chances that we should have converted. In particular, Ruslan Rotan's chance from inside the area. But the team didn't lose its spirit, and the spark we had in those games, we managed to use in the playoffs. Ukraine narrowly missed out on an automatic qualification spot, but confidence was high as they hosted Slovenia in the first leg of their playoff tie. It's one of those things, part of your football life, a barrier that must be overcome, no matter how difficult. We realised that in terms of potential and individual quality, we were stronger than Slovenia. Following a 2-0 triumph in Lviv, Ukraine travelled to Slovenia to finish the job and book their place at the finals. As attentions turn to France, Fomenko will once again look to rely on a stubborn defence that conceded just four goals in their qualifying group. Andriy Piatov, Artem Fedetsky and Yevhen Kacharidi were consistent performers. And going forward, the creative burden falls largely at the feet of starmen Andriy Yamalenko and Yevhen Konoplyanka. Tactically, you always need these kind of players in attack. That's not limited to our team. Any team at any level has these star players, and you have to build your team around them. It's hardly a secret that these two players have outstanding technique. Their dribbling, the right foot of Konoplyanka and the left foot of Yarmolenko. That pair will try to fill the void left by Ukraine's all-time top scorer Andriy Shevchenko, who netted the country's first ever Euro goals four years ago. Since qualification, the 39-year-old has been added to the coaching team in a bid to inspire the class of 2016. In a challenging group, first matches don't come much tougher than the reigning world champions who they face in Lille. It's Northern Ireland after that, before a potentially crucial encounter with Poland in Marseille. We've got a tough group, really tough, I'd say. We don't need to say anything about the Germans. Everyone knows they're world champions. And Poland are a serious prospect. It's a very tough group. Those who start playing football at an early age dream of participating in tournaments like this, dream of representing their country. You don't need any extra motivation. You have to prepare in a calm way, then get out onto the pitch and do what you do best.